Why don't you think of the worst stuff that someone can do to somebody as a sexual assault? And that'll answer your question. Drake Bell reveals for the first time he was the victim of sexual abuse during his time on Nickelodeon's Drake and Josh by his dialogue coach, Brian Peck. In the new Investigation Discovery series, Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, Drake details what happened to him and how the trauma led him to self-destructive behavior that he's trying to put behind him. I just opened my eyes, I woke up, and he was, uh, he was sexually assaulting me. Drake is opening up about his sexual abuse, which began at age 15. It just became this secret that I had held on to. The whole thing was mental manipulation. One day, I was just on the phone to my mom. I just exploded. I just screamed into the phone everything that had been happening to me. My mom immediately called the police. The investigation was pretty brutal. The worst part was I had to make a phone call to Brian and, and get him to admit what he'd done. Drake's dialogue coach, Brian Peck, was arrested and pled no contest to lewd acts upon a child and was sentenced to 16 months in prison in order to register as a sex offender, all while Drake struggled to find a sense of normalcy. Right after Drake and Josh, I was signed and then I released my second album. I made some really cool movies, but I would have stints of sobriety and then I would, you know, the pressure would be too, too much. Nickelodeon's Drake Bell is arrested in California. Well, there was definitely a slow decline in my mental health and sobriety, DUIs, behaviors that were uh, happening because I was, I, I was lost. Drake started to spin out of control. At rock bottom, he reached out for help. I got to go through a lot of trauma therapy and be surrounded by people who, for the first time in a long time, wanted to just see me get better. Drake is now processing his trauma through his music. He just dropped this new music video, I Can Relate, inspired by his past.